Good morning and God bless everyone this morning. Today is Thursday, October 21st, 2021. And I want to talk about several different topics this morning about the Creator, right? And who is the Creator that most people rarely ever talk about, right? We always talk about prophets, we talk about angels, we talk about other different things, but we never really talk about the Creator. Remember that the Creator has started it all, right? Because there was no beings that created the universe. There was no beings that created planets, or sun, or moon, right? The Creator was the one that formulated the universe, right? It came out of a spiritual kingdom, and it decided to create the universe. Then it decided to create planets, right? And it slowly took planets, because remember, for the Creator, a thousand years is one day, right? So it took thousands of years for the Creator to formulate planets, right, and, and, and the Sun. Remember, the Creator says are more hotter than the actual Sun. That's the one that you feel the, the, the part of the head all the way down to the toe, the eternal fire to purify your soul. It feels like it's burning, right? So the Creator is the one that created the planets, right? And the Creator decided to create beings, right? At first they started off as spirits, and then He created them into physical existence. Right? And then the glowing beings, right? The muscular beings with eyes, and then the 24 elders, and then he created everything into the physical form. Then he decided to create things and planets in the physical form, because he wanted to live in it. Right? The spirit of God first created an image of a man, that he wanted to live in a human. Right? So, you know, all these other things, and he decided to create creatures, and all the other things, and da 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 So, we have to learn from the beginning right for people to understand who is a creator right it's a spirit right this has male female animal has every single attribute you can ever think of it's a perfected spirit right that glows by itself it sits by itself and there's things that worship it there's angels and all these other things it sits behind a golden door and angels on the side with swords and all these other things that's the spirit that judges everybody and it does everything there's a council of the Creator, that they sit and they, they, they talk and they, you know, do all these different things, and those are these 24 elders, um, that they are the ones that are in charge of the universe, and angels as well, they charge of the universe, and every single planet, and all the laws that they, they have to do, the things can do this, things can go visit this planet, that planet, and a lot of different things that they are in charge of, of the Creator. So, when we start learning about the Creator Himself, itself, I shouldn't say Himself, I should say itself because it has a lot of things in the Creator itself. Um, also about Yeshua, you know, um, the Son of God, and um, He was elected and He was chosen to do the works of God, um, to do the teachings, right, to be salvation. And he's the one that they say is going to come back and do all these things. He is elected by the Creator, right? And he's Emmanuel, an angel, born in, in a human form, and, and to do many works of the Creator as well. Because remember, holy prophets um, and the Son of God, they all had titles and they all had purposes, but they all worked for the same God, the Creator, right? Everything that works, if you hear angels, they say, I am God. Why? Because God lives in the angels, okay? When Yeshua said, I am God, remember he said, God lives within me. Me and my Father are one. If I say God is speaking through me, it's because the Spirit of the Creator lives in me. Right? You illuminate, you light, because the Creator lives in everybody. Right? The difference is that there's people elected and chosen to do work for the Creator and they're servants of the Creator. Right? So we have to understand the difference in many things. One of the things that I've always noticed is that when you're chosen to do something in this world, right? There's always going to be spiritual forces that are evil to go against that, right? Yesterday I felt that, right? Um, when we're dealing with the works of God, you're going to go through a lot of obstacles based on evil forces of this world. It's not going to be physical. It's going to be spiritual. You're going to find that everything that you want to do with God, there's going to be something evil involved because it doesn't want you to do the work. Okay? You're going to have war with dark forces. You're going to have war with things. And you're like, what is going on here? Like, is it people? With... And it's actually not people. It's actually dark forces that are against God, the Creator. Because they're cursed. God don't want them in the kingdom. So they're against the Creator. 
So if you're trying to do the works of God, you're going to feel certain things. Like yesterday, you know, um, I was talking about God because I like to talk and, you know, I talk to God and talk, you know, and all these other things. Um, because that's what I love to do, right? And there are things that watch you, right, spiritually, and they don't like you. You know, they either want to possess you because they, now you're, when you're living holy, right, you have the seven holy spirits of God, and all these things, things that want to possess you to make you evil, because you're, you're walking in the perfection of the spirit, right? So there's bad forces in the world that hates that, because it doesn't have the light of God. So it sees the light in you, and it sees that everything that you do is for the creator, right? So it hates you. Oh yeah, it despises you. If it can kill you, it would, but it can't. So, when we're living in that spirit of truth, right, there's forces that are going to go against you. There's going to be things that you're going to say, what the heck is going on? Why is this not happening? Like, God doesn't want this to happen? No, it's not that God doesn't want it to happen. The problem is, is that there's forces in the way that are not doing certain things. And then what you do, you fast, you pray, you meditate, right? You do whatever God wants you to do. Because God always knows why there's a, there's a right time, right moment for everything, right? There's always a reason why. So, you have to continue on doing what you need to do. Don't get discouraged. Don't say, okay, I'm going to give up. Don't do nothing because you know what? God is allowing it. The more these things piss off God, the more worse it is for them. You understand? Because God will judge all these spirits. All the things that they do, all the bad stuff they do, God will judge them. He will use his angels. Because that's what he does. His angels clean up all the stuff that he don't want. Right? Because remember, people don't realize that. You know what I mean? That the Creator does watch. The creator is it's angels go up to the creator and says look this is what's what you know back and forth you know what I mean so we have to understand that that sometimes we cannot give up for certain things so, so you know sometimes like that you know what I don't know if I should stay holy all the time I don't know what I should do you know maybe I'm not doing I'm not as righteous enough maybe I need to be more holy you know why is this happening to me like I notice that the more holier I become the more increase in knowledge the more I illuminate I feel like there's more entities that want to hurt me right it's like I feel like there's more bad things that want to hurt me now right and and that's what happens like the more you get closer to God the more you increase in wisdom the more you illuminate in the knowledge of God the more you glow in the eyes of God right the more these forces don't like you like the more you, I go outside and I sense these bad things and they just want to kill me. You know, you can feel it. You can feel it that it's not a physical thing. It's a spiritual thing. It's not physical. It's just you sense it. And you're like, oh my God. These things, and then I feel the vibration of the angels on top of me protecting me from that energy. Because there's evil things in this world that are against God. Because they can't make it to the kingdom anymore of God. So... They hate you, you know, so they will use people as well. Like people, they, they envious of you or something like that, that you know, and, and they'll put thoughts in their head and make them act a certain way if they're not fully controlled by God. And they got to read through that because sometimes there's bad forces in this world that will really, really come against you in a way that doesn't want nothing of God to be existing in this world, especially the children of God. Like, you know, you have a let child of God, evil things don't like it. Remember that in the Bible, when Eucanon was born, there were certain kids that were elected and chosen by God, including Yeshua and the Romans, right? Because they dealt with witchcraft and all that. They were possessed by bad things. And they were looking for these children to be killed. That's why Yeshua was taken away, right? Because bad people were possessed by evil. Because they didn't want these kids because these children were elected by God. So they wouldn't be chosen in this world to do the works of God. So that's why Yeshua was gone until the age of, I think, 12. He, they took him, you know, the Jewish people took him, anointed him, and, and, they, and they protected him for nothing bad to happen to him because they were bad people, you know, that practiced evil. They wanted to kill him, and you can it. So there were certain babies that were taken away. So that's why in this world you have to pay close attention because there are dark forces and there are people that work for these things as well. Understand that's why my father showed me the children of Babylon. Okay, so when we're having war with those type of people, right? You have a war with the children of Babylon and Egypt and whatever you want to call them, right? Because they see the light in you. Remember, people of darkness, they see the same thing. They see the number seven, they see everything because they're spiritual as well, but they're dark. 
It says so they see the angels in you. They see all this stuff. And 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 one of the things is that you always have to pray before you leave your house. Um, you always have to meditate in the Word of God because, unfortunately, when you're walking in the light of God, these forces don't like you. The more you serve God, they hate you. They despise you. They will do everything against you. Even use a person to destroy you. You understand? A person wind up going to prison and don't even know why because you know these forces in this world that will possess a person to do evil. And, you know, the person doesn't even realize that they're being used for evil. You know what I mean? So that's why you have to live in the spirit of truth. You have to perfect yourself in the holy image of God. Ground yourself in the spirit of truth because that's what's going to protect you. That's what's going to allow you to, to, to go into the kingdom of the Creator. Because remember, in the ends of days, this is what's going to happen. People are going to be possessed by evil. I mean, people's hearts are going to wax cold. They're going to hate everybody. You see people like now, they're more wicked than before. And they don't feel as bad as they used to for people. And there's people that do a lot of bad stuff in this world now, right? Because God says their hearts are going to be cold. They're not going to feel as compassionate. Or anything like that and that's going to be in the ends of days like right now I was watching the rabbi and I said something to come and he feels that it's going to be World War 3 so if we have World War 3 that's going to be a really bad thing because the World War 3 is going to be far more worse than the other ones and um, and many things to come you know and all this other stuff so that's why we have to pay attention the spirit will guide you to the things that are going to take place, right? I have gifts of, of other things, so if you have gifts of prophecies, God would allow you to see what's going to take place, right? God would allow you to see many different things that are going to go on in the world. So we have to be vigilant of all these things. That's why it's important to increase yourself in the spirit, right? Because the spirit is what's going to allow you to understand what's happening. The more you get closer to the spirit is what you're going to know what you're battling against. Because sometimes in life you get frustrated and you feel like what's going on, everybody's against me. And it's actually a spirit that's controlling people to be against you. You understand? To make you frustrated. To, 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 to make you impatient. And I've noticed that even with myself. That sometimes I feel like there's a spirit that wants to change me. That wants to take me out of my character. Wants me to be angry. Wants me um, to be a certain way. Because now, because I live in the spirit of God... It, it, it hates that so now it's going to try to do things to agitate me it's going to try to do things to change my character change who i really truly am right um for people to see you in a different light right well the spirit possesses a person right and it not possess you because it can't possess you but it can attach itself to you right and it'll, it'll make you act a certain way you're like this is not me you know and, and because the spirit hates you it hates your guts oh yeah we could throw you out the window it would, but it can't Right? This doesn't have that power. But it hates your guts. So it will make you act a certain way because you're living in the spirit of truth. You're you're already saved to be with God. And it hates you, it hates you period. So it wants you to be a certain way for people to look at you a certain way. That's that's what they do. You know what I mean? Because they don't have authority and power to kill anybody. If they kill anybody, God will kill them. That's as simple as that. There's certain things that spiritual forces can do and there's certain things they cannot do. You understand? And they know that themselves. You understand? So they, they, they will do certain things. They will manipulate certain things. They will scare you. They will do a lot of stuff. Even use people. But there's certain things that they cannot do. It's sad because God will kill them. Period. And that's just how it works. So that's why you have to be vigilant. Remember, when you feel these types of ways, and even myself, I used to pray, use the word of God, and they will leave you alone. They will, you know, move away from you. Because they hate the presence of God or they hate the certain words in Hebrew of God and they move themselves away because they know that's the, that's, the, that's the stuff of God so that's why you have to be stern you have to resist what the word is resist the devil resist the enemy you understand that you have to stand your ground and say you know what I'm gonna fight for God I gotta do this because the more you fight for God God's gonna see those things you guys will say you still you really want to fight for me you still want to be with me because God will test you in your faith God will test you many things you know and he will even use bad stuff to test you right because sometimes when God's testing you with bad things it'll come out of greater good out of those things so that's why we have to always live in the spirit of perfection Every day perfect ourselves being the godly image, right? God says he wants us to be godly.
as in that means the Spirit of God is living in you. Now you become like God in the flesh. Meaning that everything you speak, everything you act, everything you do will be in the form of godly. You'll be godly. You understand? So that's what God wants us to live by. Just like, you know, things in heaven. They're godly, right? Angels, they sing to God. They sing Selah. They want us to do the same thing on this earth. Right? We praise to God. We hear holy music and all these other things we sing to the Creator. You understand? So God wants us to live in a godly form. In the image of God Himself. So that's what we have to do every single day. We're going to battle between spiritual warfare. We're going to battle with things that don't like us. And unfortunately, it's not easy. Remember, the righteous always suffers in this world. Because, you know, this is not the world of God. Right? So righteous people will suffer. We will go through things. I mean, we will go through things that you'll be like, oh my God. You know, why is this happening? You know, I don't go through things in other ways, but I go through things spiritually. And that's a very hard thing to go through when you go through things that you cannot explain to other people because they'll think you're nuts. I'm like, oh my god, I feel like something hates me. It's like, it's, it's like, like a cape thing, and I see demons, and they hate me, and they, they hit you in the back of the neck. Or they, and people get scared of that. What? You know, because they don't like you. The more you speak the word of God, they, they want to destroy you. Oh my god. They could they break your neck and kill you and throw you off the roof. Because they hate the presence of God. Because they are in darkness. They're evil. They can't see the light of God. Remember, God stripped light out of certain things. You know, so they're not living holy anymore. Now they're pure darkness. You know, and there's fallen things as well that are living in pure darkness. You understand? And God changed their appearance as well. They don't no longer look the same. So they're angry about those things as well. So anything that has to do with God, they're going to go against them. And people that are ignorant to the Word of God, he's going to use as well because it's people that don't even realize that the creator is a father of all things father and mother of all things and he's gonna lie so remember he's gonna use the younger generations that don't know anything about the creator and they're gonna deceive the younger generations of people so that's why the older generations are gonna know who the creator is the younger generations are not and they're gonna be further away from the creator you know what I mean? So those are the people that majority are going to be gone. You know what I mean? So that's why it's important to teach your children as well who the Creator is and all these other things. You know, who the original name of the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. You know, and all these other things because in the ends of days, they're going to deceive a lot of young people. And they're the ones that are going to be mostly, uh, the ones that are going to be affected just like my son said, he's 14, his mom. I think it's going to be us that we're going to be like the ones that are going to suffer because we're younger. That's why I have books and I have things that I've written and videos because I want to pass it down to my kids, you know, my children. I want to pass it down to them, you know. Um, and it's, I respect my kids' beliefs and all that things, but, you know, you want to you leave all your information to your kids. Like that they can learn all this stuff. That's what prophets did. You know, they passed down all the information to their children, right? Moses pass it down to Yeshua, you know, Aaron, you know, all that stuff. Yeshua was the biggest thing because of his uncles and his genealogy, you know, oh my God, you know, was that, that your uncle is, is Moses, you know, <laughs> five books of Moses, he was chosen, that's his uncle, and Aaron as well was Yeshua's uncle, because that's Miriam's brothers, you know what I mean, so he had a very powerful, you know, and then King David was... His, his his father's um, um, father, you know what I mean? So Yeshua had a very big, you know, spiritual people in his life. So that's why he became who he became. That's why he was elected as well. So, you know, all these other things. That's why God says that the, the seed of Abraham, um, they're blessed. Yeshua was from the seed of Abraham. So, you know, all these other things. This is why it's important to understand that when you come from the seed of Abraham or children of Jerusalem you have things in this world that you're chosen by and that's why there's forces that don't like you you know what I mean they hate you because they know what you are see the daughters of Babylon the sons of Babylon they don't care the devil is not going to attack somebody's in darkness a demon is not going to come and attack you because you're in darkness no of course not you're already wicked you see a demon is going to go after an alcoholic a drug addict a person that's serving the world having sex with everybody not serving of course not you're living in darkness you're not going with God See, the devil, the demons are going to go after the righteous ones, the holy ones. You know, evil forces are going to hate you, and they're going to come and attack you. They're going to come into your home. 
and you can be invaded in your home because they hate you because you're serving God, the true God. That's why they hate you so much. So always remember that. It's people that don't realize that. You know, they say, but why is it that people go through? It's because they're serving the real God and you're really opening yourself to God. So when you're submitting yourself to God, these forces hate your guts. So when you go out places, this force is watching you. When you walk out your door, there's spirits that they can follow you. And wherever you go, you go to the supermarket, you go to the store, you go anywhere, they follow you. And they will torment you. And what I've learned, they have to, I have to wear protection as well. You know, certain spiritual things on myself, plus angels as well, because there's spiritual things that they follow you. And they hate you. They want to cause an accident in your life. Have you seen people that... You know, because they don't pray, they don't do certain things, right? There's, there's spirits that can even cause a car accident, or they can cause certain things to happen in certain people's lives because they're not serving God the way they're supposed to serve God, right? So that's why these things happen. So that's why it's important that when you leave your house, you pray, because there's forces that watch people. You know, when you're walking in light, you know what I mean? It, they see that. They, saw that. they know that it's the light of God. Remember, Yeshua said that the same light lives in me can live in you if you truly worship God father right so they see the light in you you know they know when you're serving god they know all those things and that's why they hate you so much because they're not living in light and they don't want you to live in light they want you to lose that light that's why you know there's a lot of things that go on with people and people don't realize that you know when you love money you love this you love that you're not living in this perfection of the spirit you're living in, in, in the worldly things things that don't matter Remember, God says, I want you to crucify your flesh, sacrifice your flesh to live in the fullness of the Spirit. You understand? The fallen man carries the number six. The righteous man carries the number seven. Right? So when we're living in the number six, we're living in the fallen. Right? Because we're living in the flesh. We're doing things ungodly and unholy. So the person will be marked with the number six on their forehead. Right? And the people will be marked with the number seven, or the imprint of God, in Jewish imprint, or in your hands. You know what I mean? That person is walking in the perfection of the Spirit. Everything that the Spirit wants you to do, you're doing it. You understand? They want you to be pagan worshippers. They don't want you to be religious. They want you to be spiritual. God don't want you to be none of these things. Because remember, religion doesn't save man. The saved man is a spirit. So we have to live in the perfection of the Spirit. No matter what we go through in life. Because God will still protect you. He will use angels. He will do things to protect you in many different ways. Because this is what these spirits are going to do. They're going to intimidate you to stop you. There was a guy that was going through that. He was seeing things with black eyes in his house, like himself walking. And they're scaring you. They want to intimidate you to stop worshiping God. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to scare you. There's people that get frightened and stuff like that. They get through spiritual things. Like, yo, what's going on? And they get really, really scared. They start hearing voices in, in, in the living room. They start hearing things. And it's, those are demonic entities that want to scare you because they don't want you to worship God. Because they can start seeing the light. When you start worshiping God, they start seeing light in you. So that's how they knew. I didn't know that before. I'm like, Dad, but you know, secretly I worship God. Nobody knows. It's because they start seeing the light. The light starts illuminating in you. So they start seeing that light. Because you're worshiping God. Your brain, everything starts glowing. Because you're thinking about God. You're worshiping God. So you start lighting up. It's like a light bulb. You know what I mean? So that's what they're seeing in you. So now they want to stop you. They want to make you fall just like them. Remember, the enemy don't want you to be with God. Things want you to be with them. Is that well, we want to hell? You want to hell too? We don't care. That's how devils think, right? Freaking, we're gonna go down. Everybody's gonna go down with us. I'm not going down by myself, right? You ever seen that? You seen people that are gonna rob a bank or something? They don't do it by themselves. They say, hey, all of us are gonna go down. I don't care. Even driver that didn't even rob. And that's how it goes. This is what wicked things do. So always stay true to God, perfect yourself in the image of God, fast, pray, and meditate, because that's what's going to save you in the end of days. With that being said, Shalom, much love, and God bless you.